Okay, as you read in the article, uh, SharePoint site is a collection of pages, site templates, lists, and libraries configured for the express purpose of achieving a goal. That might sound a little vague, but, it, but if you think about it, it really makes sense. Um, we've got here Biff's Consulting Agency site. And before we go too far into Biff's little consulting agency, I'm going to show you with Google like I did in the article. You know, you have your main page for Google, which is Google.com. That's your top level site, and its purpose is to help people find information online. Now, if I search for something in there, we'll get a preview of, or we'll get a look at their subsite. So we have the Google Web Search, which is a subsite under Google. And then we also have the, and, and that's the purpose of that is to search the web. The images, we could call this a subsite, would be for searching images, maps, shopping blogs, all these other things that you can do. So that's that's the example with Google. But every site under images, or, or each sub-site, is related to the top-level site in some way, shape, or form. So with that being said, let's look at Biff's consulting agency. I'm kind of a Back to the Future fan, so I'm going to use him, uh, Biff Tannen, as my uh, example throughout this course for the demonstrations and things like that. <clears throat> but Biff's a whole consulting agency has four departments underneath it. It has the marketing department, the IT department, the accounting department, and HR. And it even has a search center. And the home page is going to be for everybody. So we'd put, you know, some company announcements up here, you know, company documents, policies and procedures, the company news feed where people can post things. Um, and that's to do with the entire agency as a whole. Its purpose is to serve as a central location for information and data and employee uh, communication uh, centered around the whole company. Now, if I go to my accounting site, this is just specifically for accounting, and this is the getting started pane you see on new sites that you create. But each, each sub-site below the top-level site will have something to do with the site above it, its parent site. So the marketing department is the marketing department for, you guessed it, Biff's consulting agency. So even if we were to go into the accounting department and create a new subsite, and we'd make this accounts receivable, this site will be created underneath accounting. And we want to make sure that anything we create underneath accounting has to do with accounting, which accounting has to do with Biff's consulting agency. So you can see I'm on the accounts receivable site of the accounting site that is the accounting site for this consulting agency. You want to follow that model because you I mean you wouldn't want to put you know an IT department vendor list under accounting because then that just wouldn't make sense. And with permissions and everything else, you want everything to fall in line. But that's that's the general layout of the site. And that's how everything fits into the grand scheme of things in SharePoint. It's all based around sites and people using the information within those. So I hope that cleared everything up from the article. Take a look at the next lesson and have a good one.